Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Ad Actor World Offset. Let's run our quick little example. It's pretty simple. I'm basically going to add 100 to my Z, and my cube is going to go up. I'll hit Enter again, and it's going to go up again. It's pretty simple. There's a few things to note, and we'll go ahead and cover the node now. So here's our Add Actor World Offset node. Let's go ahead and add Actor World. We're not going to find it. Uncheck Context Sensitivity. And we can find Add Actor World Offset under Utilities Transformation. And this is how it's going to come in by default. It's going to take in an actor. That's why we couldn't find it earlier. It's going to take in a location. This is basically our new X, Y, and Z that we're adding to our actor. And then you can choose to sweep or teleport for the booleans. And if we sweep, we have a hit result. Now, you could split our location because it is a struct into our X, Y, and Z floats. And I actually have the world and the local versions here just to show you comparison-wise. And if you look at them, they're going to be the same. The difference is the world offset node applies it based in world coordinate space, whereas the local applies it to the local. What do I mean by that? Well, it's pretty simple. We'll go ahead and hit play. We are going to eject and choose our cube here. And we're going to go ahead and toggle between world and local, which is our little node here. And you should see no difference. Well, we have no difference. That's why. I'm going to change my rotation of this item on the Y to 45. Now you'll notice when I toggle my coordinate system, we have a difference. The world coordinate system is Z up, X in this direction, and Y in that direction. The local coordinate system of this cube, however, is different because I've modified it by 45 degrees. So you'll see how our X now goes that way. Our Y technically will go in the same direction, but our X and our Z are different. Now using the local offset version, we're going to offset it based on this coordinate system. Using the world offset version, we're going to offset in the world. So if I did Z100, even though I have rotated this cube, I'm moving it up no matter what. So basically, even if the rotation has been changed on this actor, the world coordinate system will remain the same, and it will adjust it as needed. We can go negative 300, we'll move it back down, and such. Now to look at our nodes that we have added into here, it's pretty simple. We have sweep and teleport. Sweep is basically, hey, are we going to hit something or are we going to trigger something? Yes or no? I want to. So let me go ahead and run this. Let me say move 500 over. And it's going to basically, whoops, let's type it in and hit enter. And you're going to see it moved. It basically instantly moved from here to here by adding 500. Of course, I fell off. But the wall didn't stop it. Now I actually want the wall to stop it. Check sweep. We'll go ahead and play. We'll hit 500, and you'll notice it gets stopped. It is using the collision system. The, both of those items were set to block, and therefore, with sweeping, it will check, and it will get blocked. If it's successfully blocked, it will fire off a hit result, and you can break your hit result back and get something. If it was hit, if it was overlapped, times, hits, everything in your normal hit result, which you can check out the video for on that one. And to show you that it works... Let's move this 500, look in the top left, and you'll see true. We were actually blocked from moving 500 units completely. Teleport is basically if you need to move something instantly and you don't want physics to go haywire. Simple as that. Just ask yourself that question. Do I need to move this item? Do I need to move it far? Do I have physics enabled and are things going to go crazy? Like I have... Um, I have rope attached to the back of this vehicle that are physics enabled so it bounces. And now all of a sudden I'm going to teleport it to another planet. Do I want those ropes to know that they just moved a million units? If I don't, let's just set teleport on. Physics basically pauses while you move it. It has no idea you moved. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. The add actor world offset node adds to the actor in the world coordinate system. <laughs> And offset. And by an offset, it's basically taking the existing numbers, adding, so basically it's changing 
the existing numbers and adding in our new x, y, and z. Since it's an add operation, you can put negative numbers in, as I showed you. So, for example, I could do negative 300, and it'll go left. Or I can go plus 600, and it's going to go right 600. So keep that in mind. It's going to be in the world space, which we've mentioned. Sweep, if you want things to get blocked or trigger collisions. Teleport, if you don't want physics to go crazy. And if you're sweeping, you have a valid hit result to see what you end up hitting, if you did.